Well, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and I am starting a new uh, book page challenge. So it's just going to be little projects, ephemera, pockets, whatever that we can make from book pages for our junk journals. So uh, uh, this one's pretty simple. You just take a book page. This one's pretty small. You can use bigger book pages too. Uh, and then you just uh, pop them up. The fun part really is just decorating these. We're just going to do a real real simple one and I'm realizing I don't have my mind glue here so today it's a uh, glue stick day <laughs> that's how we're doing it today this was like some hand dyed paper that I made so and this one also hand dyed paper I want to do that and you can make it bigger on the top or bigger on the bottom. But I like folding it like this so there's just like a little bit more of the pocket than the background. And that's all there is to that. And I have already made a bunch of these from, this is like a Reader's Digest kind of paper. And I stamped them. Well, oh, here it is. <laughs> this stamp is what I used and I used the walnut stain and it showed up really really dark and I thought that was kind of cool kind of cool this one I'm gonna do and then we can go ahead and decorate these so you can stamp those and ink them this one I'm gonna ink oh, I'm gonna need to get uh, my my craft room organized it's falling apart I'm missing things even, even I'm, I, I'm even missing drawers out of my rainbow cards that are beside me. It's like, uh, that's, where did it go? I do not know. You can, you can get your little circle punch out and also do the little thing here. Of course, I've already glued it. So, oh, there's a little thing in there. That's interfering with my, with my punching. Just a little little tab there it'll be a lot easier with this with this guy I did fold these over some of these because I just liked it with um, without the the little end part but for this one I did it and then you can kind of see the stamping and I also think it would look good like this kind of a stamp right on the edge there and then it would be like a little stamped lace so you know you got um stamps that you think might work out for that I'm just gonna punch these of course i already inked it i already inked them so i'll just sink a little more those are fun little scraps and then we can do the fun part which is the decorating part as soon as i Give these little divots a little, a little, little anchor rooney. All right, now what do we want to add to these lovelies? I did have these that I cut out of the Reader's Digest, so the, the little letters at the beginning of the text, and I cut them out with some craft scissors, and then I inked them, and they look really cute. So, I think like that would be kind of cute. Oh, gotta get used to not having that glue stick, that glue bottle, my art glitter glue with me. That's okay. We can do, we can do glue stick today. It'll be fine. I had it out on the table. We had a birthday party to go to and my husband and I did a little teamwork making like a prank card where it looks like a regular Hallmark card, but it's actually got like specific text in it that's very specific to the person. And that was a fun little adventure. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Let's see what else we've got. I wanted to use this stuff. That's why I've got it sitting right here. Oh, for silly. I know I had like this little brochure and it had some butterflies on it. Oh, uh, got some scissors. Couldn't find my art glitter glue. So that's, a, that's not, that 
that's not good. Is that cute? Uh, I'm going to cut it. It'll be fine. And I do like these because they're just perfect, you know, to put just about anywhere. Any which where. Isn't that cute? Do, do, do. Okay, now I'm going, I've got like this, I call these like collage bits where they're just like random pieces of things. Do this. A little too big. Just do like okay, I'll just put this here. Glue this little butterfly in there. Maybe grab one of these. It's a fun piece. And just add a little number. There, that was quick, quick and easy. I can even glue this shut if I really want to. is that? I don't think I want to put anything at the top. I just like the plain uh, book page, but <clears throat> excuse me, but you could totally decorate that if you wanted to. And I think that one's cute, just plain like that. So sometimes you just have a nice piece that you want to emphasize. And that is the one. What else do we have in here? I like these kind of like background pieces. It's kind of an, an easy thing. So focal point. I had some tickets in here. See if any of them will work. I was thinking like to the side. Yeah. And then maybe find a butterfly or something to put on there. Like this one. Oh yeah, I like that. That's very cute. I really want to put this on somewhere. I'm just going to put that up there. Because I like it. It says like Viceroy Monarch. I'm going to keep that little text. Put it in my little text. Text drawer. Um, I'm going to glue this part down. Okay. And I think maybe we can pull out the, what do you call these things? Hmm, clusters. And maybe find some small ones. Do something like that. Something, something. Goodness, I haven't really used very, very many of these. Try that. I don't know why, but they just are not working for me. Do this one too. Under that's big. It's bigger than I remember. I need some small ones. I know I have small ones. Here we go. like that. I don't like it with the green, so I'm going to not do that, but try another one here. See how we like 
some of this. It's interesting. I feel like it it needs something else. No lie. I'll try center. It'll be it'll work out fine. Yeah, I was playing with my watercolors. I'll probably do another video on that. Yeah, I like this little little guy, but too much of oh, that background paper. I'm gonna trim that right off of there. There we go. And then I think we could go off to the side. I'm gonna re-ink my my divot. Yeah, I'm going off to the side. Just because I can. It's my party. I can if I want to. There we go. I cute. There. I use some of those. What else do we have? I have some really random, like, clusters that I made that are just like this sort of thing. I want to use those today. Yep. Put that right down there. Now what do we want to add to it? I know I have like mushrooms in here. Some that I actually did a little fussy cut. Oh, that's cute. We're going all the way down to the bottom. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like it. What else does that need? Something. Maybe a flower. I don't, I don't know what I have for, for flowers. Oh, this would be cute, Alan. I think we're almost out of options, though. <laughs> so that would be crazy. I also have these, like, papery ones. Hmm. Yes. Slide it right under there. Just a smidge. And then I think I can put like a word right here. Let's see if I can pull out my drawer. Sarasota flower. There we go. Going the right way. What else do we have here? We've got something greenish. Let me try another flower. Mayhem. I did kind of want to see if I, no, I'm out of, I'm out of faces. Oh no. I did want to try this. Oh, I like that better. Okay. You get to go back in there. <laughs> yep. That's how we're doing it today. 
I changed my mind. I have had this piece for so long and loved it. And I've never, I, I've like auditioned it like a hundred times and never found anything. But that really works. I love it. I'm going to pull out this and see if I can add a number to it that I might like. I don't know if I have a lot of numbers in here. Whoa. Got this little teeny tiny one. It's like kind of turquoise. Okay, it's just sticking to me. And now it's like, that's way too tiny. I've got this one. It's on this little like antique invoice. I like it there. I'm going to use my glue stick. Kind of like that. Do I have any other little scrappy? Oh, I do like that. Like right there. I'm having trouble um, with my glue stick. <laughs> ah. I guess it's kind of a mushroom, mushroom kind of day. There we go. I really like that. That is cute. Kind of green, lovely. It's not much to these, but they're the most versatile little guys you can make. That was fast. That was really fast. I don't know how many minutes that was, but it, was, it wasn't very many. So we've got this one. This one. Here, we'll do close-ups. I'm going to come back in with that one. Close-up. Very neutral. I like that one. These kind of simple ones. The stamping. And, oh, got a little glue edge there. This one, just a little cluster in this nice fun collaged piece using more clusters. What are we going to put there? It's, it's like it needs something. It needs something. I bet you a little flower on the side would look really nice, but I don't know if I have any small enough. Oh, that's bold. It's not bad. The color is nice. They're just all too big. Too big. And smaller. Okay, what's this? Something like that. Goodness. Now I'm thinking, hmm. Something, something. I think this is what I need. What do I think about that? And then, there we go. That feels more, more balanced to me. Right there. There we go. And then this one. Nice and simple. I love these. And look at Now I've got a bunch of them to put in journals. 
That's a lot. How many is that? That's like nine, eight. That's eight of them. Cool. Well, good. That worked out really well. All right. Well, I hope you will do this uh, book page challenge. I'm going to be trying to do, uh, I'm, I'm going to do one a week and it'll just uh, have book pages and lots of fun projects and we're going to make stuff. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to do it. So I hope you'll come along and join in the challenge. And as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.